Hi, everyone. Welcome to Domain Sherpa. We've got a brand new Domain Sherpa review today featuring Shane, Adam, and Drew. On this show, we hear about Drew's recent vacation to the Maldives and his stop over in Dubai. And we also get into a conversation about 3L domains and why they are one of the most interesting classes of domain name digital assets. Then we play the domain game featuring fairygarden.com, crnr.com, and cybersecurityinsurance.com. After that, we get into the Namejet in a Jet segment sponsored by Namejet, and we talk about some domains coming up for auctions such as eggplant.com, spareribs.com, and lzr.com. And remember, if you're listening to the audio version of this podcast, you could also watch the video version at domainsherpa.com and on our YouTube channel at ds.tv. You can also listen to the shows on Apple and Spotify and other podcast platforms as well. Also, we're now integrating our shows with muse.ai, which provides new search functionality for the shows and the transcripts as well. So definitely check all that out. And big shout out to dan.com, the number one place in the world to buy and sell your domains with a special platform made for domain investors. With that, it's now time to get into this episode of Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. So let's go. What's up, Sherpa Network? Thank you for tuning in today. My name is Jonathan Tenenbaum, a.k.a. JT, a.k.a. Jayon, a.k.a. Sherpa Winfrey, and I'm the host and producer of Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. Today's show is a Domain Sherpa review. We are back, where we get into the minds of successful domain investors using real examples to learn strategies and tactics to how to become more successful domain name investors ourselves. These guys are the experts. They are the OGs. There are four segments to a Domain Sherpa review. We've got the grand opening. That's where we are right now. That's where I intro the Sherpas, see what's going on with them. We talk about some related things, some unrelated things, maybe a couple AKAs. Then we get into segment two, which is the domain game. We hear about what the Sherpas recently bought or sold. Everybody guesses on the price. We keep score and get some swag to the winner eventually. Then segment three, we've got Name Jack and the Jet, sponsored by our friends at Name Jet. Show them Shane. Show them the Name Jet shirt. Put it up. Put it up. Yeah. And that's where we Yo, review a list name of names. Jet, I've literally, I used to be one of the biggest customers of Name Jet, one of the biggest sellers on Name Jet. They're a sponsor of my podcast. And I've still never gotten a Name Jet t-shirt. Oh, yeah. all right. Well, and you know yet, what? You know what? I actually blame you. Yeah, it's I mean, actually this your was, fault. I know. Most I was, of that shit was under your watch. It is. They were. I, these shirts were mine. I, I did this. See, look. I, I might he, send you one. He gave me a box. <laughs> name Jet, gonna Jet, baby. Let's go. I have some extras still. You know what I mean? I don't have as much Name Jet swag as the time passes, you know, plus, uh, you know, moving houses and all sorts of things. But I still have some sunglasses. I still got some shirts, but Name Jet, gonna Jet, yeah, baby. I, I don't need your cheap ass sunglasses, but I oh, do want a t shirt. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, man. They're probably getting caught in customs. <laughs> yeah well exactly he's like oh i just won my i won my tax case i you know i won they're not going to do anything to me now and all of a sudden like he's not going to be getting yeah. any letters he's not getting any no packages money. all you know money gets saying? confiscated <laughs> all the electricity Everything gets shut down at the border they're gonna they're gonna freeze them they're gonna like they're it's gonna be a reverse embargo you know what i'm saying like they just uh anyway Cool. Well, we'll get you a t-shirt, Drew. Don't worry. One of these days, right. man, it's going to come up with your swag that you get from winning the domain game, man. It's going to be in the same box. It's going to be in the same package. And then segment four, last but not least, is the grand closing. That's where we'll discuss anything we haven't covered already, what's going on in the domain space, looking at the market trends, current events, and allowing our guests to mention or promote anything we have not already discussed. With that, let's go ahead and introduce the Sherpas over to my right. I got my boy Sugar Shane, aka Honey Shane, aka Mike Rowe, aka Blame It on the Shane, aka In Shane in the Membrane, aka In Shane in the Blockchain, aka Doing It for the Culture. Shane Culture in the house. What's up, man? What's happening? Uh, good. <laughs> All good. I, yeah. went to, I went to New York City. I didn't go to the actual conference, but I was in there all week. I told Drew earlier. And New York, just everything's moving and people are, and of course it was a beautiful week. Like this yeah, was the most yeah, beautiful yeah. week. Man, it, it was like coming off of adrenaline, coming home. I love central Illinois, but coming from meetings and talking and people and dinners and, and then you come here and it's crickets and quiet. Yeah, dinners. yeah. No, it's like all... withdrawals of that. But man, it was good time. New York, you can see why New York's money capital. Like Greatest city in the world, man. I mean, shaking. 
you know, so having lived in New York for a while, you know, I mean, the energy in the city is just incredible. And, uh, yeah. you know, and it's, uh, I was there last year for NYC, uh, NFT NYC as well, but it was in the summertime. So, you know, weather wise wasn't as great, you know, being there when the spring is really starting to hit, or at least you get that little yeah. teaser spring weather yeah. and stuff. And that's like pretty Everybody special. Everybody popped out post COVID. Well, yeah, people are nice I mean, weather, all that stuff. Just a good combo. It's all good, man. The city that never sleeps. The big apple. Let's get it. And uh, big they still have the sidewalk dining. They still have all the big tents. And uh... yeah, so that's kind of the problem. It, it was because spring came quick, so all the rooftops still had their atriums. All this, not as many side, but they let a lot of them keep. And then you combine ninety degrees with all that, and it was hot as f up. Like you yeah. go to the rooftop and it was, they hadn't taken down the atrium part and it was so hot. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Greenhouse. actually, so, yeah, it's like worse. You, know, you talk about stuff. COVID and stuff, you know, like that's oh. what I brought home from NFT NYC. I brought home no swag, just some COVID, you know? And yeah. uh, it's like, oh, that's crazy. I don't know how I could have possibly got it. It's like, you're in this like plastic tent, <laughs> like, like literally like, it's like a science experiment. Like, waiting know? for a train, like shoulder to shoulder with 3000 people thinking, um, COVID. When COVID was here, this place didn't exist. I mean, yeah. there's just yeah, so yeah. many people. Yeah, but I just think no, uh, yeah, it's good. Whatever. Yep. Go ahead. No, no. Actually, let's not go ahead. Let's keep it moving. Okay. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? But uh, <laughs> on that note, let's go ahead and introduce to my lower right. We got my boy, Andrew Rosner, a.k.a. Morpheus, a.k.a. the Dirt Diggler Domains, a.k.a. Never Gonna Give Drew Up, a.k.a. Greybeard, the Domain Pirate, back from the Maldives, live and direct. How you doing, man? You got that glow? You got that, that like, post vibe out, two weeks, catamaran, beach pool, you name it. You did it. Looking good. What's up? Yeah, man. It was an amazing vacation. Uh, shout out Patina Maldives. That joint is this. It's just, it's the spot. Oh, Anybody man. who has a family that's looking for like, you know, some barefoot luxury without all the pretense, that is the spot. Homeboy Literally, said barefoot I think, luxury. That's like a term yo, I've never even heard before, but it sounds so, I think, sounds amazing. No, I'm like, you you got to be rich as shit to use words like that in normal conversation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> honestly i think that they have nailed a hospitality concept that i've never found anywhere else but i've been looking for like my whole life it's like or at least my whole life since i actually had any money to travel at any yeah, degree yeah. of luxury but um you know it's like really no pretense nobody's you know snobby and you have i think the, the hotel manager told me they had like I know, I'm not even gonna go there, but there was like a there was there was some real money there. Yeah. Um and um you would never know it. Everybody's chill, the kids are running around, they got an amazing program for the kids. They had we had uh Luis Garcia, who was a striker uh for uh Real Madrid and uh Liverpool, uh did a training camp for five days with the kids. Oh, wow. Um, you know, which was amazing. And, you know, we did, I got the kids out snorkeling and it was, it was amazing. It was a great trip. I did some scuba diving. Whole thing was amazing. And, uh, and then we did two days in Dubai on the way home. And um, I had never spent any time other than a, you know, fly through in Dubai. And I have to say, man, that city also talk about energy and buzzing. It is not a place I would want to live, although I wouldn't really want to live in New York either. Um, but it was, it kind of shocked me. It was like, wow, there's a lot going on here. And there is, um, you know, she, you know, everybody you see is expats. It's not locals. It's expats. Everybody. Um, I think something like 80% of the population is expats. So it's, um, it was pretty wild. It was a pretty, pretty interesting place. Every famous restaurant that you know of in America or in Europe is there it's in dubai it's crazy and like you know we we're having like contests with the kids like driving around in taxis and they're like all right how many ferraris are we going to see between here and the mall <laughs> and it's like yeah. you know the number would be like 30 you know it'd be like we saw three bugattis 30 ferraris four lamborghinis you know Ferrari. 27 <laughs> 27 rolls royces you know 185 bentleys it's like it's wild. It's it's a pretty wild place, um, and we took them to the museum of the future, which 
I was a little disappointed that there wasn't there weren't any concepts there that were like new to me. They didn't present anything that was like, you know, oh wow, I didn't see that coming in the future. But the way they present the whole thing, the whole experience is absolutely unprecedented. I promise you, you've never seen anything like this in your life anywhere. The building itself is insane. It's a solid, it's a metal donut. It's crazy. It's a metal donut. Billy, pull up a picture of the Museum <laughs> of the Future in Dubai. And it's like, <laughs> it, it's crazy. And it, with all these, you know, cutouts of like Arabic characters, and it's, it's crazy. The, 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 the architecture is insane. And they got these crazy elevators that look like pill capsules, like from Star Trek. And you, and you get inside this one elevator and it's like, it looks like Star Trek. It's got like the hexagonal doors. And you get in and it's LED screens on the floor, on the re- ceiling and on the walls. And they're like, all right, hold on. We're going to the space station. And man, it's crazy. It literally feels like you are taking off from Earth, going to a space station. Like the way, the graphic is insane. It, you cannot distinguish that it's not like real life outside. It looks like you're looking out the okay. windows and you're looking below you and you're taking off. You exit the atmosphere. They got the afterburn going on. I mean, it's wild. It's wild. And and then, you know, and then they do this. There's like a, I think the coolest thing is this like, uh, like a library of uh, species. I forget how many, like hundreds of different species, or thousands of different species. But they're like these little capsules with like, I, I don't know, like LED images of the species and mini and like go around and it's, pretty wild the whole thing is pretty it's it's like it's unique let's say that you've wow. never seen anything like it and for the kids it was like they were out of this world they, they oh, couldn't yeah. have been happier well uh, i think that what's kind of crazy is, is you just kind of throw it in there in passing but the kids did like just a casual soccer camp with luis garcia it was like you know like you know i mean it's just like yeah and by the way, he didn't play Real Madrid. It's, it was Atletico Madrid and, uh, ah, and Liverpool, yeah, yeah, yeah. but LFC all day. Liverpool's my squad. So just, uh, you know, big shout out to the Reds. Like, let's go. You'll never walk alone. <laughs> but um, yeah, man. Well, awesome. All that sounds like pretty amazing. Yeah. So, um, you know, you, you vibe. Yeah, it was great. Great yeah. trip. So anyway, but I came back to 82,000 emails. So yeah. that kind of was a hard, that was a hard, <laughs> that was a hard ass landing. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt all right I well yo i literally went to bed last night my eyes were crossed my head hurt it was just like oh. but you did it but you did it good job it. all right so let's keep it moving below me we got my boy adam strong last but certainly not least aka john wick aka up and adam aka adam <laughs> antium aka adam you're only as strong as your weakest backlink what's up dude how are you a little under the weather but still showed up today so yeah, I think you're gonna have to get rid of the up and Adam part. Why <laughs> up and Adam, man? Man, you got up and Adam. You're here. Yeah, you say like that's what happened I'm today. I'm barely. <laughs> yeah, I'm barely here. Yeah, so yeah, uh, I'm here. All right, hey, that's what's up, man. No, we we yeah, appreciate so it. I want to. I want to. I just want to add to the vacation vibe. You know, I went up to Wisconsin. You know, oh, it's nice. like the same thing. We were counting the number of some ice fishing. You do some we ice were fishing. the number of pickup trucks on the way up, and uh, <laughs> we got up to um. seven thousand thirty-two. <laughs> <laughs> we stayed in this awesome place up there. It's called the Stay Bridge. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but um, it's like, right next to the cheese house. It's, it's got right a boy, there. It, it's got a Bunsen burner in the in the, the kitchen. At <laughs> you might have seen us next to Krukowski Stone. You know the Krukowskis; they live right up in that area. They do mostly boulders, but you know they do lead stone as well. <laughs> I got a, I got, a, I, got a, I got a bone to pick with Drew about Dubai and uh, and the, all the American restaurants. They're, they they don't have a Culver's in Dubai, man. Come on. No. <laughs> I bet they do. I literally like I it was like a, it was like a running joke. We were like walking through the mall, which literally I think if you actually walk through the entire thing, it would take you three days. And it was like there's like an entire aquarium in the mall. Like, like the, the world's but there's not a fifth best aquarium. But it was like every rest, every like restaurant my wife would say or the kids would say, we like look it up. And it's like, oh, yeah, it's here. It's like four miles away in the mall. <laughs> Yeah, Wisconsin's the next Dubai is what they Wisconsin. Always say. Exactly. I went. Wisconsin. I went to a. I went to a uh, a, a beer and brat festival in Wisconsin. 
like 20 years ago. Well, My I mean, I know the is nice, but have you ever been to the Kringle Festival? Oh, that's great. <laughs> hey guys. I saw I saw Journey. Is it, is it Journey? Journey, yeah. Don't stop believing, yeah. man. Hey, I, saw, I, saw, Journey. I saw Journey play at uh, the Beer and Brat Festival in Wisconsin. That was a highlight. Oh. See, Adam? You were but they, they cook their yeah, brats maybe. in beer, right? So, it, yeah. you know, it's it was pretty unique. <laughs> tell unique me you're experience. not from Wisconsin without telling me you're not from Wisconsin. <laughs> hey, look, man, you can talk all you want about the Beer and Brat Festival and the museum in Dubai and all that. But if you have not been to the Rattlesnake Roundup in Lake Knox in Pennsylvania, you have not lived <laughs> Just saying, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, great things around the world. Rattlesnake you Roundup, baby. You about doma- domains, but your flight att- you're uh, going to be booking a lot of great flights. <laughs> oh, you know what? Bringing this back to domains, one of the one of the kick in the nut things that happened to me in Dubai was we're driving, we're driving, we're on, actually on our way out. We're on our way to the airport. Picked up at the, air, at the hotel, driving to the airport, tired as hell. And um, my wife says, Oh, look, there's a domain name on that building. It's stretch.com. And I'm like, stretch.com? That was our name. So I look out the window, and there it is. It's like the second most expensive building in Dubai. Mm. And there's like a giant, like I'm talking about 50 feet across, stretch.com, like private stretching gym. And apparently it's like a huge chain now. And I sold that thing way too cheap. I own that yeah, with that's, my that's all the rage partner right now Franz. Is, is stretch Did you rooms. say that the the you know the domain was stretched across the <laughs> billboard? It sure, it sure it sure was. I wow. bet you that sign cost more than I sold the domain for. Wow. <laughs> and that's what this comes back to what we talked about and what we say, like when your marketing budget and when you realize what you're spending in marketing and advertising and branding, and that doesn't even count all the defensive benefits and everything else. And, you know, and, and email leakage and security risk and everything else of not having the right domain when you kick off your business. It's like, and you, like you said, they probably paid more for the sign than they paid for the domain. And the value they're going to get from that domain is... StretchLabsInc.com across it. Yeah, right. StretchLabsInco.co. Inc- yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> not the same effect. Not you the know, same effect. It's not going to get you there. It's not going to get but you it, there. It is, it is cool when you see your own, you know, when you see your oh, domains yeah. in the wild. Yep. Well, you know, so, you know, some of the things like when we talk about, you know, the domain upgrades and, you know, and, and as the the process, right. And where everybody kind of fits in that process. And as Shane says a lot of times where it's like, man, if you're selling a domain for a million dollars, like what about the company that's buying your domain for a million dollars? Like I want to, I want to, I want to talk to them. I want to be there. I want to be in those within yeah. those walls. And, um, but it's like all part of the process. You know, we look at a domain like QNB, uh, dot com, which sold for, I think a million dollars to the Qatar national bank. Um, you know, they had upgraded from QNB.net, you know, however many years ago. And, uh, you know, we've talked about this before on the show and it's like the, you know, and however many times that name kind of moved and sold, you know, across, you know, in, you know, investors and domainers until it ultimately was sold to its best case I, end user. Right. Were you yeah, involved in there I, somewhere? No, no. But I remember, uh, I, I did have the opportunity to buy the name like a year or two years before, I think it was like on DN forum. Mm-hmm. Like a year or two years before it sold, um, and I remember at that time the tr- the three letter dot com you know wholesale trading price and sort of liquid price was like eight grand, and um, yeah. Well, and that's what Thanks I mean. Right. Timing is luck and timing. You know, I, yeah, you, man. But it, but it's all about. Down. But I think I, that's- I really I to this day I just think three letter dot coms are basically like the best investment that you can possibly make. Like it's just like one words for sure, but just like three letters are just like, there's so little variability. Like you just, it's like, I don't know. It's like buying a gold coin kind of like, you know, the price is going to fluctuate up and down a little bit, you know, but it's like, it's going to hold you. It's, it's just a great yeah. store of value, you know? And they're just like, it's like, you know, somewhere between 15, 25,000 is probably like the median price over the last decade. You know, and it's going to gradually move up and, you know, as supply dwindles and, you know, when the right time comes, you got a lottery ticket attached to that thing. Yeah. Well, no, and I think that's a great point. And I think that's part of what, and I think with the three characters, you also have some variability around, you know, it's not just one end user potentially, you could have a handful of good ones, you know, that, yeah. um, and, uh, and there's just very few things that like, just ding, like, like when you get an email and somebody's got a three letter.com as their email, you know, 
like host name, it's like an instant authority. Like even me, like, like when I get I, some rando emailed me the other day, like it wasn't even like a company. It was like his personal domain name, but it was a three letter. And I was just like that, you know, that dude had clout, like in the first minute, you know what I mean? No, uh, if he's listening to the show, I wonder if he's going to take that as a compliment <laughs> or the fact that you're like some rando, you know, you're like, but he was dope though. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's like, yo, this well, random, I mean, being random, you know, no, I, really know I know what you mean. Or... Like, I understand what you're, I understand what you're saying, but it was just kind of funny to me, but, um, but no, look, man, I, I absolutely. And, and the reason I brought up that particular domain is because it's like this idea that it ends up in the hands of the ultimate, like sort of call it the perfect end user at a price that's like pretty amazing for even for a three character.com. And, um, you know, but there are transactions that take place up into that point where somebody probably made $5,000 at one point during that and thought that was fantastic. Somebody made 20,000 and then somebody made hundreds of thousands. And it's it's no different than like the gemstone industry, right? There's some dude in Sri Lanka that pulls a, you know, 20 carat sapphire out of the ground. He goes to the local dealer. That dude pays him a couple hundred dollars for that stone. That stone gets sent to India, gets polished up. That dude sells it for probably, let's say, 10x what he paid the local guy that pulled it out the ground. And then it goes to some dealer in New York who then 10x marks it up again and mm-hmm. sells it to you in a piece of jewelry. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it, that's what, and that's what we do. We mine for the greatest, you know, digital assets on earth. That's it, baby. That's good stuff, man. That's... Billy, cut that up right there. That might be the clip. That might be the clip. Um, all right. Well, look, let's let's get into the rest of this show. Let's go. That's a great way to segue into segment two, which is the domain game. And uh, that's where we have the uh, Sherpas tell us the domain that they recently bought, sold, or saw selling. And, uh, you know, we guess on a price and we keep some score and, and maybe get out some swag to the winners at some point, you know, with some name jet gear as well. Who knows? Who knows when it might arrive? Wait, just for the record, have you actually been sending out the, the swag? No, you- we call it vaporware, W-E-A-R. <laughs> W-H-E-R-E. Vaporware. <laughs> or we, yeah, no, but like, yo, photo. yo, this is my reputation. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, you gotta I know. send Don't this worry. shit. Send yeah, I got shit. you, man. I got you. What man. am I supposed to send him? You know what I'm saying? We got, you know, like, what am I sending? I'll send him. I got, I have the uh, the media options puzzle. I'm gonna send. I'm you gonna know, send somebody. I think Someone's we should cool. switch it up. Here, here's the puzzle. new rules. <laughs> we, we you know, I'm open to input on this, but there's like a point system. So you know, we'll do this quarterly. So there's like a point system, Ooh. and then depending on the number of points you get. We'll have different categories of swag. You know what I'm Ooh, saying? Oh, I like, like that. I like that because it's almost like, like golf, like or like something well, where there's rankings. Yeah, one point. You know, you got one win that quarter. I got a you better get, one. You get a Why t-shirt. You, you got three. Adam and I have hoodie. fucking sweatshirt. <laughs> all right <clears throat> done and done we're gonna make it happen no for real it is uh it, it will happen very soon so um we are getting some new sweatshirts made so and i think y- y'all will like them anyway all right all let's right. go let's keep it moving into the domain game let's add some points to the rankings shane what you got you got to buy a sell or you know i gotta you- sell I, I i think i said it on facebook deep in a post but uh i sold uh fairygarden.com fairy Garden.com. Dot com. I'm, starting to, I'm starting to sell my plant names now that I've retired from the nursery. I'm not going to do anything. Uh, with them, so. It's the end of an era. Um, all yeah. right, let's go, guys. So put in your this is a personal name. So. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. Sorry, right. yo. Wait, hold up. What was it? Fairy Garden. Fairy Garden. Fairy Garden. All right. Your kids um. probably made one. Um. Yeah, my mom loves Fairy Garden. She makes some of the kids. Oh, that's like, All right. oh, I just upped, I have upped the price now, realizing maybe it's a thing. I don't oh, know. Yeah, I was like, oh, thing. oh, fairy gardens are definitely a thing. You know what I'm saying? Michael, my, the, you know, Michael's stock price is like held up by fairy gardens and grandmothers. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm way under then. But all right, ready? <laughs> Let's turn and spin. Let's go. What do we got? All right. All right. So we have a range for those of you who are only listening and not watching. I'm at 1,999, Drew's at 3,888, and Adam's at 15,000. So pretty good spread right there. Let's find out what Shane sold fairygarden.com for. I sold it for 18,000. Whoa, boom. Yeah. Whoa, 18,000? Yeah. Damn, you got all of it. See, mm-hmm. that's me. That, wow. you got, you, you, I would say that you, you harvested. Low for, you couldn't even buy that on Namejet for that much. That was 
You got shot low. You know, I was sleeping on the fact that fairy gardens are a thing. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's I'm, a hundred million dollar. It's yeah, a hundred million dollar. Even if it's industry, not a thing, literally. it's a good brand. Well, yeah. Here, that's fair. In the last in the last like three days, I've had five inquiries and offers on communitygarden.com. And the highest offer so far is five hundred dollars. That's why I was like, <laughs> you know. Yeah, but what you the sell a name, names, what I'm you getting. sell a name for and what the tire kickers give you are t- two completely yeah. different things. So that's yeah. a great point. I, a great point. I just yeah. think they don't believe in you, Shane. Oh man. Oh no. Well normally I haven't normally started Shane Kim's up way under. He you know, yeah, but like, yeah, I've I started to move on. I believe in you, Shane. I no. haven't been selling names because I've been like shooting for the moon and now I'm gonna take like if if I can get eighteen thousand for Fairy Garden, I'm gonna take it. Like I you Drew, know, do you own good. community garden? Yeah. Drew does. Okay, well you got nothing on the page, and I own the, the plural on that one. So oh ah, look at you wow. guys. Yeah, that's it. Community garden.com. Let's see where we got. Oh, it doesn't even resolve. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Whoever my Yeah, that's well, that's that the other thing is. Now that I have a little more time, I've been going and making sure everything lands and has pricing and has land, uh, uh, you know, runway. Wait, that's weird. Financing. That that name that name has got bogus name servers and it's not even resolving. Mm, missing out. That's a good good sale price, Shane. Way to go. Yeah. Well, I paid. I'll give you some background. I bought it in 2011 for a thousand on Namejet. So, 2011. Figured. Yeah, that's a great yeah. return. I mean, that's almost that's 18x. That's minus. super weird. But it, the name is in my Botus account. It's got Botus name servers. Black it's not resolving. Oh. Adam's okay. got forwarded to his plural. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to take a look and see what's going on with that. But um, yeah. all right. Well, Adam with the point. All right, Drew, buy, sell. What you got next up on the domain game? We've got about 45 minutes and a lot all right. to still. Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, I'll go with a sale. Uh, I'll go with a sale. CRNR.com. CRNR.com. I don't even know what we sold this for. So that's good. I get to participate. CRNR.com. And it was a sale. Kurt Kerner. Corner. Yeah, it's the, it's the. <clears throat> web web 2.0 uh for corners yeah um crnr.com all right all oh, right Shane. yeah let's put it on the put it on the phone oh, every, look, time, we, house, every little, time we play ah, Shane, i like it more. that's product, place, that's time, product, baby. product placement <laughs> baby i like it that's good it's savvy <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? Flip your phones. What do you got? All right. Okay. Shane has oh, 8,700. Wow. Adam I got... takes the win again. Well, hey, come on. Let me tell the audience that's only listening what the numbers are. So Shane's got 8,700. I have 14,999. And Adam's at 22,500. And it sounds like Adam's already got the win. Go ahead. Talk to us, Drew. What's the story? 20,500. Ooh, look at how close. Man. You get bonus points for. Man, yeah. over Adam. All right, Adam. You've got a up and Adam, up and at them, <laughs> up and at them. On my... Yeah. All right. So, Drew, what did you? How long did you own it? What was the? Uh, what's the deal? Look oh, at y'all, man! No, People making money selling domains. That. that domains are back. Domains. <laughs> Guess I don't who's remember back. Leaving. Back again. Oh, domains funny. are back. Guess what's not Hello, even in friend. the inventory. Oh, it's not in there as. What do you mean? It's not in there as being sold, or was not in the name. It's not not even listed in there, man. Hey, hold on. That's on you. No, it's not. First of all, just settle down. Let's let's fact check this. Let's fact check it, man. You know, I feel like I'm getting kind of beat out. This is like the worst employee review ever happening on this show today. You know what I'm saying? Between the swag and the inventory management, I'm getting beat. Need to replace him with some AI. I'm gonna be. Mm-hmm. Oh, trust me, man. I mean, every every day, every day, I'm, I'm told that he's like, as soon as it's good enough, it's, you're out. He's like, it's getting it's better. Always, every day. It's always sunny where they replace D with a monkey, and the monkey did a way better job. <laughs> he's like, every every day, he's telling me how much better it's getting. He's like, you better get moving. Um, mm-hmm. All right. Okay, so let's see. Hmm. 
Did it really sell? Does Adam really have the point? Yeah, that's right. I think. Well, let's see. Oh, it definitely sold. Billy, put on some Jeopardy music. I can't mm-hmm. find. I can't find what I bought it for. I know what you bought it for. You know why? Because it's in the sold <laughs> file. Because it's already moved, been moved over and marked accordingly. So mm. tell that User robot. Error. Tell that robot Yo, to kiss then, my human then, ass, robot. But, oh yeah. Well, that's also an admission. That's also an admission that you should have known what it sold for, I know, and you I know. did. It did come across your desk because otherwise it wouldn't have been put in the sold file. No, actually, because I don't. So I don't, many names, he can't keep track. Dude. I don't. A- uh, AI did it for him. He didn't do it. That's why. <laughs> sh- sh- don't let him know. I'm, I outsource all my stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, technically, we, I don't we, mark domains as sold. That's a different part we of the were team in that handles that. Going no, to but, Kringle Festival while this shit was happening. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so. Anyway, but the fact that I got it wrong shows you I'm not gaming the system, but it's already That's marked true. accordingly. It's already marked accordingly because we have a process. So, in what, place. so what, what do we pay for it? Uh, about a thousand bucks. So, a thousand bucks. Back in go. 2017. That's a so, 20 banger. Boom. Ding, ding, 20x ding, ding. over the We're course doing of nothing but making look. money in this show. But, but here, these are both excellent examples of the longevity needed to be successful in domains, you know, at a high level, right? Both of you guys, 20 extra names, 18x, 20x, uh, minus renewals. Um, but in your case, Shane, you're talking 12 years. In Drew's case, we're talking six years, right? To be able to realize those gains. So you have to not only recognize, you know, the ability to recognize names that can be sold for, for value later on. But then you've got to have the patience and the willingness and the bankroll to be able to hang on to them long enough to be able to realize those those gains, you know. So it's not easy. We just because we make it look easy doesn't mean that it is. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. and back to the piece about it in the inventory. It's like we have a process by which this stuff happens, and it's the process is working, and that just makes me feel good as the guy who helps put the process together, and make sure that they're working properly. You know, that's what's up. I'm feeling all right. Feeling all right. Like I feel like I'm fighting back against the against the machine right now. Adam and I still don't have shit. <laughs> you always you're like, I'm still so cold in these Illinois winters with no hoodie. I hear you, man. Don't worry. This this winter because it's 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 springtime, and by the time the, the fall rolls around, you guys are gonna be rocking some really yeah it's about to be some we're gonna send you a domain shirt for speedo <laughs> yeah there you go it'd be like the one i saw, Drew, you, I saw like you wearing one, it earlier it great. <laughs> like the one Drew's wearing right now being <laughs> home from the maldives you know rocking the whole thing just lounging i love it does it um, come with all that hair all right so here's the deal so adam you've already <laughs> technically won you already won the domain game today congratulations you do have the option though to share or buy or sell if you want which would be cool oh, i don't have to I mean, you sh- you don't have to have to. But well, we're doing this for the sake of the people, not for just yeah, the sake right. of winning. Oh, for the okay. People. Well, See, then in that case, Adam, you do don't have a choice. Do it for the people, man. Do it for, for the, the people. For the people. Yeah, well, uh, let him, the people. Let him call Jen real quick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's like, Jen, what do we sell? <laughs> hey, Jen. No, I got one because I, I don't know. I kind of thought it was a neat one, but uh, you, you guys will probably go like crazy overboard on it. But uh, I sold. Uh, not anymore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm like, don't go, I, I don't go overboard. Uh, I sold cybersecurityinsurance.com. No. Oh, I was going to say, you I, cut that you know what? Shirt. I was like, don't go Yeah, you thought I was going to end there? I thought you were going to end there. Like, ding, ding, ding. Ding, <laughs> yeah. ding, ding, ding. Like all this like balloon. Let stuff. me turn my calculator sideways. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Where's the, where's the cosine? All right, <laughs> cybersecurityinsurance.com. All right, let's go ahead and get our guesses squared away. All right. Cybersecurityinsurance.com. Get my advertising up. All right, here we go. Ready and flip. Flip it. Flip it. All right. Oh, we got another big spread. We've got Shane at $28.50. Me Adam, nine, Shane doesn't believe in you. $9,999 for me. And Drew's Shane at what? Doesn't believe All that love Drew's at $28,888. Drew with the eights. Always with the eights. So <laughs> That's lucky, uh, baby. Even All right. though I literally I like don't think eights. I've ever won the game on my show. The eights, the eights are nice. I that's uh the eights are what I paid. Uh so Drew is the winner. Oh boom. Uh, ding oh. ding ding. Damn, right. you killed it. So I paid twenty eight eighteen. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it was like a uh it might have been a name. Oh, it was I bought it on Afternix, so it might have been a buy domains name or Okay. I don't I, I don't think really. you and I talked about this name when you bought it. Like Many years ago. 
Yeah, I think like, I bought it after I bought cybersecurity because I was kind of like, yeah, yeah, I remember talking to you about this name and thinking, oh, that's a really good name. Yeah. Um, interesting buyer. Uh, as far as I can tell, he's in the lead gen space. So mm-hmm. that makes sense. Um, that was what I was thinking. What did you sell it for exactly? 35. 35 grand? Nice. Damn, you guys look, man. Y'all killing it. What? Uh, how long did you own it? Um, that's a good question. Since cybersecurity, so eight years. I'm t- I gotta talk to my. <laughs> I gotta talk to my bot. <laughs> Wait, how? What'd you say? Eight years? Yeah, it's been about eight since cybersecurity, right? Two thousand. I'm gonna say, yeah. I'm gonna say it probably was about eight years. Because yeah, you, close, what was close. the other one? It wasn't, and I don't. You can cut this out if you're not. Wasn't the other one garbage.com or something at the exact Trash. same time? Trash.com. So, so let's, you know, so this is another list of 11, 12 X, you know, great sale. I, I, it's really wild today. You guys really hit Wait, it. 11, 12. Oh yeah. 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 And, um, just math, baby. It's just math. Yeah, it's just math. math. Um, yeah. but, um, but yeah, like the, um, but it's all similar scenario, you know, six year hold. Um, and you know, like in a great sale, you guys all killed it. Like, that's pretty awesome. I'm just happy to be here, you know. That's so, why we're the experts, baby. That is. That's why you guys. That's why people got to know. That's why they're paying top dollar for this show. You know what I mean? For admission. That's why the tickets it are so expensive. Be. That's I why the tickets are so security. expensive. I was yeah, like, sorry, I, I sorry, thought sorry. I was retired. Turns out I'm just a domainer. You're just a domainer, <laughs> baby. You're just a domainer. Turns out to be the same thing. <laughs> I'm a domainer, baby. <laughs> I just want I just you to want know. You to know. It ain't where yeah, like, you guys are pretending how hard we're this shit about was. To go. Like, no, it's you just buy great names and go to New York and come back. I sell them high, <laughs> but I buy them low. <laughs> I'm waiting to see I'm where thinking, else you go. You know what? The other day, and again, I we talked about the profit. Show, I, I be a, who I am, a- <laughs> and with all this cash, oh God, forget your man. <laughs> JT, I thought we talked to you about this. Come Hold on, JT. I was talking. Dude, was, <laughs> everybody, let's all talk at the same time. About just I was vibing together. off of Drew, man. <laughs> Singing doesn't count. I'm trying not we're to cut anyone up, off. We're show. just we're just making up raps. You know what I mean? Yeah. About that we're domain just, money. I think if out. we all talk at the same time, AI can like strip it out, and you can just pick which person you want to listen to. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, it's like choose your own adventure. <laughs> Yeah, it's like uh, watching the NCAA basketball with four games going on at the same time. You got to pick the voice you want. <laughs> yes, exactly. Do you um, think that's an American thing? Because like, like I feel 100%. like one hundred percent. Yeah, I feel like there's you know sometimes you have some uh, yeah whatever different nationalities on on here, and there's just like the courtesy like <laughs> and they never get a word in. Uh, you know? Well, yeah. have you ever seen? You ever Brits been to like Japan and watch them queue up? They'll in Japan they line up like here, <laughs> Penn Station. The doors open up and for uh-huh. the train, and we all run for the door like it's a fire. And then other <laughs> countries, they they literally line up and let everybody go in, and it goes quicker. So it's like, uh, yeah, I know. And then up north in Wisconsin, uh, it, it can they don't have trains. Well. I want to. Yeah, yeah, they're exactly. just trying to get inside to get warm. You know, still steaming. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Wisconsin, you got to plug your car in overnight, not not to charge it, but just to keep the motor from freezing. <laughs> For the uh, what is that? The glow plugs? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, is that electric? No, it's just going to get cold tonight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's all good. It's like a story I read about some uh, family who lives up like in Alaska in some remote village, and they're like an hour and a half away or three hour drive away from like all the stuff, including doctors the stores so when they go they take their truck they plan this like they have all their containers and things and they go and the, then they you know spend a whole day gathering up shotguns for the grizzly bears and then the they got to get driving before it's you know like it gets dark and all that because <laughs> you know if they get stuck in their car run you know something happens they break down they could freeze to death so it's like it's basically yeah. just, you know it's basically green bay you know what i'm saying so <laughs> but um it's all good man shout out to Aaron Rod. that's great uh, <laughs> if he's if he's still signed with him, yeah, actually he's more of the a New York Jet now. So Jets, shout out yeah. to Jordan Love. Um, yeah. All right, well that's the domain game. Congratulations, Adam, and congratulations on all three Sherpas on excellent sales, excellent stories, and thank you for sharing. That is definitely what it's all about. All right, we're gonna take a really quick commercial break, and then we're gonna come back here on Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. Media Options is the industry's leading domain broker specializing in domain acquisitions, high-value domain sales, and domain name consultation. 
as pioneers and thought leaders on the subject of the domain aftermarket and domain name value. Plus, through their clear domain acquisition service, Media Options offers startups and established corporations an unparalleled scope of high-value domain options, providing access to domain names and curation technologies not available elsewhere. Media Options believes in the power of a great domain name and is dedicated to helping you obtain yours. Call or email today to put a domain to work for you. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. We just got done with the domain game. Congratulations to Adam with the big win. Swag is on the way someday. Um, and uh, so let's slide in now. We got Namejet and the Jet, sponsored by our friends at Namejet. Check out, for those of you who are only listening, I got the Namejet shirt. Shane's got the Namejet shirt. We all got the name Jet Spirit. So this is where we go ahead and uh, <laughs> hey, they're a sponsor, man. You know what's up? Um, all right. So this is where we review a list of names coming up for auction. We see what the Sherpas like, what they don't like. You can go to uh, DomainSherpa.com, go to the actual uh, blog page, the page for this particular episode, um, and you can download the Excel sheet that's got the list of domains. It has the Estabot appraisal. As always, take those with a grain of salt. Uh, how many back orders as of the date that we record the show and how many days left as of the day we air the show? This show is airing on... On 420. It's a big shout out to all everybody celebrating, doing their thing. It, it happens to be 420 at the moment you, well, in Portugal right now, at the moment you just said 420, it happens to be 420. Ooh, see? Yo, something about that. Something about And then look at And Adam's got a big old cannabis plant behind him just growing on yeah, the right. wall. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, let's look, go. look at Adam's eyes, man. He, <laughs> yeah. My eyes. Yo. yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 Yo, that's funny. what funny problem is. Funny story. First time I ever met Adam, I was like, this is going to be my best friend in the domain industry because he looks like the biggest stoner at the conference. <laughs> and so I was like, I don't remember even where we were, but it was probably like LA or something. And, and I was like, I, was, I, I, don't, I don't remember what I said, but we were just talking. And I was like, hey, you want to go smoke a joint? And he was like, I don't smoke. And I was like, no, dude, it's cool. Like, I, I try, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool, dude. <laughs> I'm not a cop. <laughs> He's like, no, really, I, I don't smoke. And I remember I was looking at him. I was like, you don't smoke? Like, that doesn't make sense. You to me. don't smoke? Yeah. <laughs> that was a long time in my life. Ago. Yeah. Hey, man. All good. All good. So, well, we've got this list. So, like I said, so, um, you know, some other info on there as well. Um, you know, we get no affiliate commission. So none, while none of this is financial advice, um, you know, it's just there for your for your use and enjoyment. And hopefully it helps. And uh, but let's talk about the names specifically. Uh, Drew, why don't you go first and uh, try not to talk about more than six domains before you get the, uh, you know, pass the pass the duchy to the left hand side, you know, pass the duchy <laughs> to the left hand side. And uh, All right. yeah, uh, it's one of the greatest songs ever. All right. That's how we roll. Uh, uh, I want to like eggplant, but I'm allergic. Uh, <laughs> you like the eggplant. <laughs> eggplant.com you allergic He's to money shirt with that camel bone and the eggplant <laughs> you allergic to money uh dookie.com is that how you spell dookie i spell uh, i feel like it's with yeah. a y i mean well what is dookie right are we talking about poop like is that it's i think it's like is there a correct way to spell the word dookie that's the, that's the green day dookie yeah yeah okay. that is the green day dookie and um yeah i, I don't know. like dookie yeah. I don't know what you're going to do with it, but uh, spare cool ribs. I don't know. I don't know what you're going to do with that. I, I, I really like ocean blue. I don't know why, but I just ocean blue. It's a, you know, it's a unique color of blue. I like ocean blue. I think I'm going with that as my favorite name. What do you think that sells for on Namejet? And what are you trying to buy it for if you're a buyer on it? I'm going to probably try to buy it, but it's probably going to go for more than I want to pay. I, I, I want to pay, you know, a thousand bucks. Uh, but it'll probably go for two. two I five. think it probably goes for five, six is my guess. I think what? that's a pretty good. You're name. tripping, really? Well, let's see. All right, let's put a pin in it. I mean, it's only we'll got see. six thousand exact searches. Uh, anyways, I like that name. Uh, I like trendreport.com. That that's a good name, you know, like Rob Report. Okay, uh, and then you got one more before you get the hook because you've thrown out names like, "Oh, I, I'm going to name mention all the names even if I'm not going to talk about them." All right, <laughs> like a and then, I'm just going to touch everything on the plate. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, and then I'm going to go with neutronstar.com. 
as a, as one you like? Yeah, just because I like all these space names. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, I'm with it. All right, Adam, what about you, dude? What do you think? Do you like? Or is there anything you don't like that you would avoid on this list? Avoid. Um, I'm not a net and an org guy. Um, you need to be, bring Braden on for those things. I uh, thought about that, but I'm not having him on the show anymore after he dissed me on the last show. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm gonna stop you right there. Yeah, exactly. Just keep. I've I've, I've interrupted you 16 times today. Yeah. Um. So, you know, uh, I haven't seen anything that is terrible. Like, there's nothing in there that's just just glaringly ugly. Um. I do like eggplant as a, a you know top choice. Um, let's see. What, what do you think eggplant is going to go for? I don't know. I haven't been playing in the auctions lately. Um, high high fives. Do you think it's going to be that much? Yeah. Now that we're talking about it, yeah, <laughs> that adds to it. I but... don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. I just haven't played in the auctions that much. I mean, I think it could be a low six name if. Uh, not not at not at auction, but right, right, yeah, um, yeah. For some yeah, reason, I bet he goes for twenty grand. That's what I was going to say. I think this is a fifteen to twenty k at name jet, and then from there, you know, see where it goes. Yeah, I think that'd be a great price. Um, speaking of like domains and seeing them on buildings and stuff, and the places we travel, I actually did see a killer domain name in use in Milwaukee right outside the buck stadium and it was and i actually ate there um the, this it's a place called carson's and they own ribs.com so that kind of reminds really me. no yeah. wow ribs. oh com. wow that's a th- sick name they only have three chain uh three different restaurants and and one's in milwaukee i think one's in chicago and i don't know where the other one is but uh yeah it's an insane name and uh i was like they've got to have the best ribs i mean they have yeah to. And? I wasn't in the mood for ribs, so I didn't try them. I think my wife. Uh-huh. Was <laughs> Adam, they, uh, man. Come on, man. I, I couldn't do it. I was just not in the mood. Like, but uh, <laughs> what's weird is they give you the they give you cornbread, and it's like this just massive like hunk of cornbread. And so I think she, the lady, said, "Would you like some cornbread?" And my wife said, "Sure, I'll you know, I'll, sure, I'll take some. I guess you know, it's, it's their thing." And so I, okay, yeah, I'll take some too. And they brought us two <laughs> these big giant like. This is like a loaf of cornbread. And then, uh, so we were eating some more and they ended up bringing us like four of these loaves of cornbread. And when, you know, fed the kids for a week, I guess. So, but wait a minute, hold yeah. on. So you ate at the place that has ribs.com. I didn't you actually ribs. ate there and didn't it's even know. Know. It's a steak place too. I ate steak. Uh, Nobody yeah. ordered ribs. You didn't even just Prime get it. Steak, just, just out of principle. Barbecue. I think steak is the most overrated. I just, I'm not, I just can't get down. I, if I eat meat, it's got to be like slow cooked, falling apart, you know, like ribs. Yeah. Or I a really, burger. I'm so hungry for ribs right now. <laughs> I'm like, not, I, not, to dis, not to diss on Carson's, <laughs> but like, I don't think Milwaukee and Chicago are known for ribs. I just, that seems to be like a, Reserved for other demographic or locations. Sure, Kansas like, City, Kansas you know, City, Austin, Texas. Austin, yeah. So I and, I, and I had come from Austin prior, so I had some delicious ribs in Austin. I had some in Champagne, I think. Didn't we have some ribs in Champagne, Shane? We had, yeah, we had, uh, no, we had uh, brisket. We had brisket. brisket like, yeah. Oh. I'm anyway, so like, hungry, man. After this, after this show, I'm gonna go try to find some meat. I'm like, I'm in with beef jerky. I got like nothing in the fridge, nothing in the pantry. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm like, I just gotta get some meat going. But um, all right, well, ribs.com. Hey, yeah. Shout out to them. You know, Spare ribs. I don't know. That, that's probably like the the lesser of the of the ribs. Yeah, thing. tough tough sell. I think. Yeah, well, I think especially that's, now that's, that you so, hyped up ribs.com. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying, like, as as one of you asked me what the with the negative ones and there's a negative. Yeah, right there, I like so. it. Maybe, I, maybe the guys that own ribs.com want some spare ribs. Be like, you know, you know, when you get that flat tire on your ribs, you got to get the spare ribs. <laughs> 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 hey, at least it's the plural, you know, I mean, it's, it's um, spare, better than spare rib.com. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. All right, Shane, what about you, man? What you like, what don't you like on this list? 
Um, I like that's a good list. When I first looked at it, when it started with clean wipes, I was like, eh. But uh, yeah, eggplant, solid name. I like Dookie. I like LZR, like laser. I oh yeah, I love was, it. Mm, love that one. That's that's, strong, a, that's my favorite one on the list, actually. So. Yeah, really strong three letter, and, and you get. I mean, the, what what I like about uh, three letter dot coms at auction is they generally don't get crazy. If it's like repeating letter, like D what? letter D. Yeah, no, D, they don't like D. What was it? The one on uh, I was bidding yeah. on was in Malby. It was the only auction I participated in. I'm on yeah. the beach bidding on. It was D something Z, at D, D, DTX. No, DTX.com. Oh, yeah. It was on GoDaddy. But that's because it's D, like DTX.com. A... There's no, there, there's no clear end users. There was no like <laughs> nothing. I'm bidding away, bidding away. You know, I put it up to forty, and I'm like, oh, nobody's gonna outbid me at forty. You've been outbid. That thing went to sixty-eight or something that in a, in an auction. But there's there are still good opportunities. They'll go for eighteen to twenty-five all the time. Typically, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah but that's I mean, with C and, and Q. I, and, well, and on Namejet, but I think you know. LZR. It's funny because you spent the whole like, like you spent ten minutes earlier talking about how three character domains are the best domain no, ever. And I, I'm like, I oh, do. LZR is my favorite <laughs> on the list. He's like, really? That's crazy. That's horrible, that's man. Crazy. <laughs> No, it, it okay. As a three letter <laughs> commodity, like space names, but not laser. <laughs> <laughs> First off, you spell laser with an S. All right, for all you <laughs> nimwits. And then, second of all, uh, uh, as Adam pointed out, these abbreviated words are kind of a a, a web two, uh, uh, you know, trend. It Fair. probably coming to an end. And number three of the hundreds, actually thousands of three letter.coms that I've owned, I don't think I've ever sold one for a generic purpose other than nft.com. Um, it's yeah. always, it's always, uh, 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 you know, stands for uh, initials of a company, right? Because you're looking to sell for a big number. It's got to be, you know, a bang on, um, the, yeah, know. that yep, yeah, absolutely. And that's the point I made earlier on QMB.com, which was a perfect yeah. example. So you're right. But Billy, give us some lasers. Pew, pew, like get them out the finger. Let's go. Pew, 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 pew. Make, a cat, a laser make cat. it happen. Make it happen, Billy. Make it happen. Just because we right, can. So me, Just because we can. Other names I like, I love Mind Coach. <laughs> we I get think that that's, too. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a Jen name. She loves Mind, mind coach. coach. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like wellness like and wellness, you know, mental. Mind, you know, yeah, yeah, it's a real, that's a strong, strong name. Get your you know, mind again, right. The um, .NET, if you're going to buy .NET, that's the net you're looking for right there. Like a strong one word. Um, and then sponsors. Wait, 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 hold on. You, you say yeah. you, but you didn't even say the name. You just said you're going to buy a <laughs> Oh, responsibility. Buy. I said responsibility. Yeah, no. responsibility. Did? I, didn't hear, yeah. I, I didn't hear you say it either. I, I thought that was. That I thought the same. Yeah. No, I think, you, I think you said that re- silently in your head. <laughs> I'm sure that is. Probably, there's a lot of that going on. There's no <laughs> doubt about that. I was still thinking laser cat. Um, <laughs> Uh, the other one that I, I like, I do like the sponsors.org because I feel like you could match up advertisers to content providers. I think that's a really good name for that kind of thing. To me, right out that's of the That's called box, consum- co- uh, Commission oh. Junction. Yeah, but sponsors.org works just as well for that. It org they got cj.org. Mm. Yeah, they didn't at the time, but they do now, don't they? They have the con too. Yeah. Yeah, cj.com. But like a what about really? org being like a nil type of thing? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Under, that's a really good. Yeah, absolutely. What's nil? NIL? Uh, for the uh, name uh, like name, name image and name. likeness, it's basically for college athletes to be able to get paid. They can be sponsored now. You know, up until uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. two years ago, they were not allowed to be to take in any kind of money for anything. Now they can. Um, and, uh, you know, so like the women's basketball players that are getting paid a bunch of money, which is, you know, great for them. And, you know, in fact, Villanova, I'm a Villanova fan. They just, uh, hired back one of their old coaches, Baker Dunleavy, the son of Mike Dunleavy, the coach. Uh, they just, he was the Quinnipiac coach. They brought him back on staff as a general manager of the college basketball team to basically be in charge of sponsorships and like helping to like, they're now creating roles where his job is to come in. He's a slick, smart dude, you know, cool dude that uh, 
his job is just to figure out how to get these kids paid basically, you know, or the, maybe he's the general manager of athletics or whatever it is, but it's like, it's, yeah. that's the role. It's, yeah. So it's a little, a little, yeah. And we could talk forever about it. Well, but that it the transfer kind of portal. Weird. Yeah. Let's, I think let's not, let's not. Yeah. Well, maybe that's a rabbit hole. Maybe that's a rabbit hole to talk about, but the, um, yeah. yeah, but I was going to say also too, in the transfer portals that now, cause the, the kids don't have to wait a year to play if they transfer school. So now the transfer, it's like almost like free agency. It's pretty wild. There's yeah, a lot of interesting stuff going on with that. It's uh, anyway. yeah. The money's going back to the content providers. So I just think it's great that the kids are getting paid. They should, you know, these kids, like they're bringing in all this money for these schools. It's like, you know, maybe they should get and the And it keeps them in it. school now too. That's the other thing. I mean, LeBron yeah. James's son would never go to college if this didn't. He'd just go pro. Why would he? And same with Caitlin Clark. You think Caitlin Clark would be playing next year? No, she'd be in the pros, but she's going to make $5 million as a, a senior in he college. He is nasty. He is <laughs> nasty. Like Definitely. Stephanie Curry. Steph, <laughs> yeah, Stephanie Curry. Curry. Yeah, she's she's dope. I mean, look, Bayou Barbie, like, all, you know, again, I, I love what we saw out of the women's basketball um, because it got them notoriety. It was, But it was compelling. It wasn't forced. You know what I mean? Sometimes I feel like, you know, they're trying to push the, you know, the women's basketball sometimes when they push the men's. And, you know, it doesn't always have the same sort of interest, I think, for, for some folks, you know, myself included at times, depending on what you're into and what you're watching. But you know, I thought it was great competition, great games, some really good drama. It was pretty, it was cool, you know, and, and, and really happy for all those athletes, yeah. cause, you know, because they don't get paid and have the same opportunities as the as the guys do. You know, they don't have the same audience. So this, you know, creates some opportunity for them. The Cavender Twins in Miami, like all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's like really, really cool. So, um, and I've got a good story to go with Adams in uh, Princeton, the pancake shop has pancakes.com. Oh, dude, let's go. I love yeah. that. I love when you have like these like, you know, sort of smaller, almost mom and pops that have these like killer. Geni- I mean, thing is, is at some point, you know, you, you know, you know, they got to be doing at least OK to not have sold it yet because it's like they can sell pancake dot com for do they have pancakes or pancake. They have plural. The, OK. The, the yeah, the they have, though, they've got a lot of, of locations now. I was trying to. Yeah, they've got three locations now. But anytime I was in there, I was like, how many people have email these people to buy that domain oh yeah they you know? like can sell it takes a lot of pancakes to make the kind of money you could get for selling the domain oh, oh, as crowded as it was i i'm pretty sure they're doing fine yeah, yeah. pancakes have a pretty high margin product oh man now i'm hungry for pancakes you guys are killing me <laughs> today man and there are a couple food names on the list so i will say the uh, between eggplant and spare ribs and stuff and um you know what was cool was we haven't done a show in two weeks and you know it helps the when you're when I'm going through the name jet names to pull names and we haven't done a show in a week or two, because, you know, it's just the more names are available that, you know, we have not already talked about. And, um, yeah, I mean, you know, it definitely helps. I think the list, is, I, I thought the list was a good one, but go ahead, Shane, you have any others that you want to uh, mention? Go no, I mean, I take every name. Clean wipes was the only one I wasn't that great, but everything else I'd have in my portfolio, no problem at all. Well, and I included medicalmarijuanacenter.com because the show is airing on 420. So I even went back and like adjusted the list to include a cannabis name, Medical Marijuana Center. There's too obviously long. a lot of bed mouth stuff. Or, um, too long, didn't read. TLDR. I wore my, I wore my TLDR. I wore my evergreen shirt for the 420. There you go. <laughs> evergreen representing. Let's go. Um, Brayden and, and I own grassy.com. Grassy? That's a good grassy.com oh let's talk about let's talk about a cannabis portfolio for a second is there is there who who has a good who has a good cannabis portfolio drew what you want to know (laughs) (laughs) we've got what every strain that like you know short of like yeah man we got it all we got you know green crack we got sour diesel blue dream blue dream great ape great ape what you want little durban poison little hindu kush Hindu Kush. I'm just being a hype man. Whatever he says, I'm just going to repeat it. They all sound like IPAs. (laughs) They do, right? (laughs) Well, it is kind of, it's sort of similar, right? I mean, it's the same kind of thing. You know, it's cool, funky name, build a little brand identity. They all fucking taste the same. I can name (laughs) them easily. Like, you got some blue lizard? (laughs) Exactly. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it all is all branding at the end of the day. Um, But, um, all right. Well, yeah, so I think that's it, man. I think we hit on most of these. We got devilsadvocate.com, which I think is kind of interesting. Well, that did, oh, oh, yeah, everybody went through. I like That's that true. one. 
you know, clean wipes yeah. for me, we use a lot of clean. I'm a germaphobe. So it's like clean wipes is like, you know, this, that to me is already an existing product or brand almost, you know, that's, that's why your family's always sick, product. killing all the germs. You got to get the good germs. You know what I mean? Keep away the bad germs. It's like, yeah, if you, you like that Simpsons or is it the, no, the family guy episode, not family guy, South Park episode where they, uh, they want the kids to get, uh, chicken pox. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. Right. So that that way they build up the immunity and they get it now. So they don't have to get it when they're older, when it could be more dangerous. But then the Hell kids yeah. find out about it. So they're like, oh, well, we're going to get the parents. So they go and have this like stripper, br- like brush her teeth with their toothbrushes. <laughs> She's all nasty. And they all get herpes <laughs> all over their face and stuff. And they're like, ha, ha, gotcha. <laughs> Yo. Um, <laughs> yeah, too much, man. But Ocean Blue, you mentioned that one. I love that name. I that one is probably that and LZR are probably my favorites. And uh, you know, but yeah, a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. So definitely, everybody, get to Name Jet. Check it out. Go see what's up. Get yourself some. Good luck and uh, be safe out there in those digital streets. All right, guys. Well, look, we hit up on all the segments. We've got about five minutes left before we close out the show. Um, anything else? Let's start with you, Shane. Anything you want to talk about that we have not already covered that you want to mention? I know you just got back from uh, NFT NYC. No. What else is good? No, I got a new line of coffee at B House. I got some shirts at B House. Got some hot honey. Let's got go. that going on. Yeah, the uh, the coffee's good. I've been working with a, a guy that's down in Miami that brings in beans, and I got to taste the flavors and made a badass bag. It's good coffee, cool bag. That was really fun. Shirts I made with um, Creation Press down, I think, in Tennessee. Amazing place. They are so good at what they do. The coffee, is it branded under Bee House? It's, it's uh, Boring Brew is the overall brand. Oh, okay. And then I have, then Bee House, I have my own particular So one. is the, are those the a- Bored Ape guys, the Boring Coffee mm-hmm. guys or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Boring Brew now, yeah. So they have 20 different bags and mine has a coda on it. Oh, so, okay. Um, All right. Yeah, and I think uh, and, and Yuga's been great. And other side, the company's been great helping me promote it and use that IP. So it's been really helpful there. And then just bees in general, like who doesn't like honey and who doesn't like bees? So it's easy to do fashion. And we've got a, I got a great designer I work with. I really love what she does, and it's just fun to create. You know, I don't know. I don't even care if I make money as long as it pays for my honey, my honey addiction. That's it, man. That honey yeah. isn't cheap. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be like, gotta get that honey money. Yeah, get I that. Love honey it money. every day in my coffee, every day in my food. Like, put that hot honey on pizza. Mm. Now I'm so hungry good. for honey and pizza. This yeah, is y'all like you're, yeah. I got. <laughs> I'm gonna text don't my what? lunch order right now. Wait. Uber Eats. Does it have some plastic in it? What's going on? No, <laughs> you just don't want to put it. You don't want to put it in in hot drinks because it it actually just instantly. Yeah, so basically as long, it's the same as turning into sugar. And then no, as long as it's not over 120 degrees, that's the yeah. number. Yeah. Oh, if once you're under over 120 degrees, you knock out all the good stuff out of your honey. You don't want yeah, to. Yeah, it's just it sugar. Yeah. Takes all the good, the good oh. qualities out. But I don't think I don't know what my coffee. I never and put a hot, a hot in my sugar. Coffee. Hot su- hot sugar is like I forget how many exponents that worse for your teeth oh, than like just yeah. eating things that are sugary. Coffee in general doesn't keep the smile looking too good. You gotta. Well, yeah. Well, look, I mean, I'm not so bad, and I got I'm drinking about twelve of them a day, <laughs> but no, but no sugar, no sugar. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Adam. What about you, man? What, what else you got? Anything going on in your yeah, world? I'm coming out, uh, coming out pretty soon with my line of uh, cheese curds <laughs> and uh, uh, <laughs> butter burgers and uh, my my spare ribs. All angry right. Adams brats. A- angry in. Adams. Angry Ever- Adams. Baby. Evergreen cheese. Evergreen. Curly. Evergreen squeaky cheese. <laughs> yeah. I've got uh, nothing, man. I'm just chilling. I'm I'm uh seriously uh busy with a variety of things, but uh outside of the domain space. How's the fishing team coming on? Uh that's going good, actually. We're <laughs> our first tournament's uh coming up on Thursday. I'm freaking out about it do they do it by the pound or by the catch oh you got it oh wait oh, i'm gonna cut anyone off go ahead like yeah. how do you how, i just I, ever I, since I you wanna, said you're a fishing coach ever <laughs> wanna, since you said you're a fishing coach i want to know how you score okay so every tournament's different but uh it's yeah you, you can get uh you win biggest fish is a win and then um your team's total weight 
a fish. Biggest fish is by weight. You should uh, feed him those metal pellets. Traditional, like traditional rules. You just had to say traditional rules. <laughs> traditional rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like those guys that got arrested for like putting yes. the weights inside the fish. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like, yeah. have you ever? There, I saw the clip, and they're like, "This bullshit! You, you know, yeah. you're putting them weights in them fish. Like, you know, these guys are yeah. like, getting fired up, man. You know, serious so. business in in the in the uh, north there. The pro fishing tour. PSC. Yeah, well, it gets busy down here. There's a lot of fishing here. We're talking. Let's let the fish boy talk. Yeah, fishmonger, talk to us. No, nah, I got nothing. I I won a I won a, a flounder fishing derby when I was like nine years old, and that that sort of set in stone my love of fishing for the rest mm. of my life. It gave him uh, the confidence to move forward. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's sure all good. It I remember when I was seven That's years what I'm old. Doing. I'm inspiring the youth of of tomorrow. Yeah. Nothing yeah. inspires yeah. a young man or woman by uh, by winning a, a contest. I mean, it's as good a prize as you're going to get. See, there you go. Yeah, I don't yeah. even know how serious we're being about this, but I did well, catch I a. Won, I, did... I won a deep sea fishing trip. Actually, that's what I won. I won a deep sea fishing trip, and I took my uncle, uh, who used to take me out fishing all the time. So ah. I took him. Yeah. And then we went out, and I, I and then I, I compounded my winning, man. I just kept winning and winning. I got, I was, I listen. I was winning so much, people were getting tired of my winning. Oh, you're Michael Jordan no. out there, the flounder fishing. No, all I was win. All, all I, I did was win. win. No, I won. Win, I won. Win, I, win. I, I did the deep sea fishing contest. It was actually a cod fishing boat, and not a contest. It's a trip. But there's a pool, so everybody throws in some money in the pool. You know, it's like a ten dollar pot right so everybody puts 10 bucks in and whoever catches the biggest fish of the day gets the pool at the end of the trip and i caught um i, I ended up catching a, a a 58 inch 64 or 65 pound striped bass on a cod boat and uh i won the pool all right man well wow, that's awesome congratulations right. for those prior wins and and adam good luck with your team you know, hopefully you can uh, yeah, you know, man. Catch, some, catch some big fish. What are you guys catching? You catching trout? Bass. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Bass. Yeah, Is that catch and release? Yes. Oh, all right. Well. <laughs> they ate everything. They come out with a big screener. <laughs> Is, that, Is that stocked? Is that stocked or? Uh, yeah. No. no. Yeah. What? I'm sure almost every lake you have to stock a little bit if you're going to have. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it's been stocked before, but these are like DNR run, you know. Yeah. Lakes, so. Yeah. That's what I stocked mine with. I dig it, man. I remember when I was uh, seven, eight years old, I caught myself a big old catfish with a net. You know, it was never easy, <laughs> never easier than that, you know. So I was always catching turtles. Every time I've caught out, a turtle would hit. I'm like, oh, that, God dang it. Like, <laughs> turtles are always eating on your. Yeah. That's that's North Carolina fishing, though. That's that, yeah, jigging. I mean, jigging. That's jigging. That ain't fishing. Jigging. I like it, man. I Down like in Florida, they, they go out there with the, I forget what the fish is, but they wait till night and they shine the. Flashlight in the water right there. They We're gonna go snipe hunting. They throw the. They toss the pitchfork into the. That's sucker. what his uncle said. Hey, Drew, you want to go snipe hunting? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Well, you know right. what? This Thanks was a lot of fun. Gentlemen. Yep. Appreciate you guys. Um, you know, thank you so much for being here and sharing, you know, with the audience. Speaking of the audience, like I say in every show, thank you everybody for tuning in. Without you, there's no us. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the show today. Definitely catch us next time here on Domain Sherpa when we'll be back with the rest of the squad doing what we do. Hit us up if you have any questions, comments, give us some names to talk about. We're definitely down to do that. And uh, otherwise, we'll be back here next time. We see you on Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. Peace out, everybody. We'll see you all soon.